just finishing getting set up here. The deer are filtering back out. I don't know if you could tell or not on the GoPro footage of me riding in, but there's a whole family of does. Most of them were bedded just on the edge or just inside this timber on the edge of the plot. A couple of them were out feeding. Obviously they, they spooked off as I rode by them, but looks like they're filtering back out already. At least a couple of them. Conditions are still really good. We're in the back end of this cold front. Probably the last good day, but the wind is calming down still out of the northwest. Been cool all day. So I expect to see good deer movement tonight. My setup here is, this is my first time hunting this farm this year, but set up obviously on the edge of the Nebraska plot. But the Nebraska plot is kind of on the backside of a little wetland dam. And so there's a little bit of water up here, which I think will will be a good attractant too. So really looking forward to the set. I'm not sure if there's a buck here that I'd kill or not. There's definitely some I want to see in person. There's also a couple of really good four-year-olds that have been running around here that I wouldn't shoot, but would love to encounter them and, and film them. So a lot of good looking, good looking deer um, starting to show up on this property. So I'm excited for my first sit here this year and should see quite a few deer. Kind of as expected, it's been early and often here. Like there's like eight does out here right now, and that little palmated yearling buck is right around the corner here. This is pretty sweet. I had glassed the edge of this little pond, and it's amazing how many tracks are around it. So makes sense as to how many deer I'm seeing right here. It's just a good setup with food and water and cover so close. It certainly feels like a night we could see a, a good deer. There's a couple things that are tough about this farm. One, or this spot I should say, but this farm in general, it's one of those farms that there's not very many bulletproof stand sites uh, a lot of time you're gonna have to give up something 
and that's the case here. I'm giving up a decent area behind me where deer could be for sure, and I expect to maybe have a couple get downwind. And then two, this corner I can't really see. That doe popped out, and there's a the way this dam goes. They're almost eye level with me right here. So if I'm messing around filming all these deer out in the plot. I could uh, potentially get in trouble and get picked off by something coming around this corner. So hopefully neither one of those things hurts me. It's been an awesome night of movement so far. There's more does coming in right now. It's just before 6.30 and a lot of the deer have worked off. There's only one doe out there right now, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You know, better chance of getting out of here clean. It would be nice to see a couple good bucks. Honestly, just year and a half old is all so far. Been a fun night of watching the deer activity though, in and out of this plot, in and out of the pond. There's another small buck just popped out heading down to the pond right now, but it's funny, they obviously like to get drinks there, but they don't like being down out of visibility, especially when that wind gusts. I've seen a bunch of them tonight that sprint back up on top of the pond dam to, to see. Just two small bucks heading down to the pond, so I'll film them, but still got a little bit of hope left that something good shows up.
what a fun night in the stand. Uh, actually, I had to stick in there for quite a while. Quite a while. Those two bucks, they stayed in there by themselves, sparring and just messing around. But um, I waited till probably 30, 40 minutes after dark to to climb down and hopefully got out of there clean. I couldn't see anything, so I don't know for sure. But uh, just a uh, one of those nights you draw up as far as deer movement. You know, they were. I actually, I don't think I went up in a second the whole night without there being a deer to look at. And uh, you can't ask for more than that. That that cool weather had them moving and early and often and uh, to have those deer. I mean, I'm not very high off the ground right there. And, and plus the that dike of the pond dam uh, puts those deer close to eye level. So when they walk by at 10 yards like that, uh, that big four-year-old did, uh, it's pretty exciting and uh the first big buck encounter of the year you know I, I obviously i knew which deer that was i knew he's a four-year-old based on history uh but nonetheless it got my heart going for sure when he popped around the corner right there uh just uh super close up and fun to watch that activity just cool to watch those deer all night long you know go drink out of the water or drink out of the wetland and uh go eat acorns feeding the food plot just uh just non-stop movement so such a fun night and uh we still got good weather ahead of us so i'm i'm probably gonna get back in that stand here in the near future